the Prophet Muhammad said that a time would come when the whole world would gather around to plan the destruction of the Muslims, as if they were gathered around a table to take part in a meal. Today the nations of the world are doing just that, around the circular tables of the United Nations General Assembly Hall. That when we're dealing with the subject of the Antichrist, there is a lot of symbolism involved in it, religious symbolism, which needs to be interpreted. before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. Who controls the web? The spider controls the web. And the spider is, is, is at a level that you never see. It's not Tony Blair. He's a, he's a strand. The Bush family, they're a strand. Even the Rockefellers are a strand. The real power that's manipulating all this, you never see. It operates from the shadows. Um, and uh, so it's operating to a, 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 a central dictated policy. And this is why you're seeing um, the same things happen in all different countries at the same time. It's because the uh, orders and the policy are coming from a central point. We can work on the level of banking scams, political scams, manipulated wars, manipulated 9-11s. And we should, because we need to know that. But if that's all we're doing in terms of communicating knowledge, then basically we're operating in a cycle of this is the problem, but how the hell do we get out of this? We will never know how to set ourselves free until we understand the nature of who we bloody well are. 
How do you set yourself free when you don't even know you are? How do you set yourself free when you don't even know the nature of reality that you're living in and manifesting and making happen without your knowledge that you're making it happen? You can't. So alongside the information about, um, you know, the five sense level of this conspiracy, if you like, we have to um, just as powerfully, I would say more powerfully, communicate the nature of reality and, and how, we, how we are creating our reality and how we are allowing it to be created for us by having ourselves programmed with certain beliefs, certain perceptions and all the rest of it all the time. Uh, the two must go together, otherwise, you know, we're never going to get out of this. If I, if I, if I tell you that, that, that that's a computer and you are infinite consciousness, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. I'm telling you what you've forgotten. Because what happens is you come into this world and, and with this knowledge suppressed, it's like someone once said, you imagine you come into the world and someone tells you that two and two equals five. Your parents tell you that from the earliest age, two and two equals five. You then go to kindergarten and nice teachers tell you that two and two equals five. You then go to school and teachers at junior school, senior school, they tell you two and two equals five. By now, all your mates who've been through the same system, they're telling you two and two equals five, and if you say it equals four, they laugh at you. You then go to university, and professors with letters after the name, stashes, they say, two and two equals five, you know. Oh, no, two and two equals four, no, I've been doing this 50 years, I've met all the best brains in the world, equals five. That boy will not go far. And then you turn the telly on and somebody's going, oh, good evening, two and two equals five. Now the weather, right? Um, there's a good chance that you'll go through the whole of your life believing two and two equals five, but still equals four. And when, and what this information about the nature of reality is doing, basically it's saying, do you remember two and two, four? Oh, yes. And this is why this has such an impact on people. When they, are, uh, they, they hear it, they, something goes, this is true, I, 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 this is true, because they're remembering it. We are in a world in which the vast majority of the population is in an amnesic state. They are in a hypnotic trance because they have been implanted with false um, information about themselves at the world and the world ever since they arrived. What uh, happens uh, in terms of creating wars? is a technique, a mind manipulation technique that I call in my books problem reaction solution. Uh, and it works like this. If you want to introduce something, say centralization of power through the United Nations, uh, centralization of power militarily with uh, NATO, the North Atlantic uh, Treaty Organization, the biggest uh, military organization in the world that's expanding all the time. If you want to centralize power into fewer and fewer hands, if you did that openly and said this is what we want to do, there'd be a reaction against that. People would say, hey, this is a fascist state you, you want to uh, create. We're not having this. But through this technique of problem reaction solution, you can actually manipulate people to demand you do what you want to do anyway. So um, it works like this. First of all, you create the problem, but you get someone else to be blamed for it. You then uh, report that problem uh, through the media in the way you want it reported, because the media is owned by the same people that own the banks and etc. You get the public to react to your problem by saying something must be done, this can't go on, what are they going to do about it? And at that point, they, who have covertly created the problem and blame someone else, who glean that reaction of do something, then offer the solution to the problems they have created. And it works like this. Problem reaction 
solution. Call problem reaction solution. Problem reaction solution. Call problem reaction solution. And it works like this. If you tell the people they have an external enemy, they'll follow you anywhere. 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 They are 99% certain at this point uh, that Osama bin Laden is behind today's terrorist attacks. Problem reaction solution. Problem reaction solution. Problem reaction solution. The New World Order better stop carrying out terror attacks. We've caught them over 200 times in the last 100 years. Western government's doing this. Hitler did it. The Russians did it. The British do it. Look at America. It's turning into a police state. Problem reaction solution. Problem reaction solution. Problem reaction solution. Solution. And it works like this. And it works like this. With regard to 7 7, there's been a witness report in which somebody who was on one of the tube trains says that he didn't see a man with a run stack. In fact, after the explosion, what he saw was metal pointing upward from the bottom of the carriage. That would indicate, of course, that the bomb was not carried onto the tube train, but was in fact attached underneath it. And underneath it. Problem reaction solution. Problem reaction solution. Problem reaction solution. Problem, problem reaction solution. has got weapons of mass destruction and he's his weapons of mass destruction program is active detailed and growing there's no doubt that saddam hussein now has weapons of mass destruction no doubt at all but we will find evidence of weapons of mass destruction saddam hussein is a homicidal dictator who is addicted to weapons of mass destruction